internet, social media, the age of information, yeah. we able to watch the rap stars or anybody famous case get broke down play by play, day by day, live in the courtroom, man. Right, right. And it's crazy, but it revealed a lot. Yes, sir. You know, we got a lot of access to information that we used to have to wait to be printed in ma magazines. Right, right, right. Yeah. But they be looking up people's paperwork online, addresses, who told on who. Right. They can pay for the information and find it. Right. Then you can watch it in the courtroom, too. Right. But it then came out in this young thug situation that they have somebody cooperating. Huh. So, me personally, I don't want to say somebody going to tell or they going to snitch till they actually do it. I don't like to play with them type of games. But the uh, district attorney, Miss Fonnie Willis, okay. I've been paying so close attention to it, I learned the damn name at this point. Right, right. Uh, she's saying they got witnesses and everything, and the, uh, the actual paperwork hit the internet to where it got revealed to some names and some information with the family and all that. Right. But this is back what goes on, and you spoke on this before, how people is going to tell. Huh. 28 people indicted on this young thug case, one of the biggest rap stars in the game, dog. And I want the people to understand that it's no different. Okay. He's still innocent until proven guilty. I'm firm on that. <laughs> you firm I'm firm on that, on that innocent until okay. proven guilty. Okay. But... If somebody telling somebody telling, bro, <laughs> you got to give them the real of how this go behind right, the right. wall and what you the seen with the telling. Uh, and you said something real. Uh, niggas ain't getting niggas a dying before they get a chance to live, man. These niggas dying out here before they even get a chance to live, man. Uh, niggas receiving a lot of time, man. Uh, when them people tell you the pen gonna be your pad for the rest of your life, nigga. Uh. They don't give a nigga that pen and pad, nigga, and tell him to write, nigga. Then them niggas start singing like they bitty right, nigga. Yeah, y'all better go over y'all head for a minute. Uh. Rappers are not being targeted, man. I gotta say that on every politician. It's not, I had to do my homework. My son just received 20 years. Uh. Rappers are not being targeted. Criminals that's rapping are being targeted. Did that, did, did that make sense? Yeah. Huh. Criminals turn rappers are being targeted. It's not the criminal. We used to have rappers back then. Shout out to Big Daddy Kane. Uh huh. You know, uh, Cool Mo D, uh, MC Shan, nigga, uh, BDP, uh, you know, rappers. Nigga that was rapping and, and was doing it for the sport. They were rap criminals, shit. They were rap like they, they weren't living that shit. Uh, Scarface, no, I was a Scarface. I came up in the, uh, no, I'm a Scarface baby. Uh, not even a baby could me him the same age. I came up in his era. Uh, and I'm glad that I chose him to listen to as a rapper. Uh, I was I was given much knowledge. Uh, he can make a he can make a hit today if he wanted to, and it'll go platinum. Cause he cause he know what to say. He know how to do it, not to deliver. Uh, and he he made a song back in the day. It's called Studio Gangster. Studio Gangster. And I listened to. I'm like, God damn. And it's one thing I never wanted to be, <laughs> was a studio gangster. And I learned from Scarface, these niggas just rapping that shit in the studios. They not living this shit. You understand? Because if they was this and that and this and that, it's politics behind the shit. And I listened to Scarface and he, and he schooled me very, very, very well on the do's and the don'ts in the studio. Uh. But see, these niggas don't, they didn't took all that, you know, they winged us off of that. We had good rap back in the days. Uh, you just got rap now, niggas. Uh, these niggas, these niggas, Jack and Jill rappers went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. You know what I'm saying? And everybody jumping. Shit. You say anything about history and something to, to lighten them up and take the shade over their eye, off their eyes? She, you ain't talking about shit. Uh. But now the streets then came to the industry. You understand me? The streets, the inner streets then came to the industry. Uh. And you know what comes with the streets, you know what I'm saying, me, uh. You know, you got weed, you bring the state. When you got dope and mad, you, you bring the feds. You dig what I'm saying? Uh. So when you bring the inner streets to the industry, you bring the feds. You dig what I'm saying? You got a tail behind you. They're not gonna stop, cause you niggas in the street, niggas. We know y'all really criminals. You niggas not rappers, you niggas criminals. Rapping about what y'all do for real. Well, fuck that, let them niggas rap. 
We leave the rappers alone. Fuck the rappers. We don't need to fuck with the uh, you know, we chill off the good rappers. Go and get rid of Biggie and go and get rid of Tupac. We just keep up on some niggas that's really cause we know them niggas just industry them niggas ain't even industry rappers cause if uh I was Tupac and I know what I know, uh, you know, no disrespect. Cause every man is created equal. If I'd have known what I know now, cause when I seen what happened to Tupac, I knew Tupac won a gangster then. I'm sorry. He was a gangster to a lot of people, but he knew what Suge was doing to him, and he didn't do nothing about it. That's not a gangster. That's another man like, you know, how we know, because when he got killed, it all came out. He was being handled. Um, and the only way he could cry out to us, to his music, I see death around the corner. You know it. Gotta stay high while I survive in the city. He knew what he was doing. He gave us all type of warnings, but he wasn't doing nothing doing the warnings. If he'd have reacted on what he knew what was going on, really, she, he'd have been still alive. And another nigga would have been, goddamn me, uh, yeah, flowers. But anyway, that's besides the point. We don't got them kind of rappers. We got niggas that's really out here doing what they say they doing in their music. We don't, everybody crying about it, snitching on us. Nigga, somebody tell them it's a snitch. Ain't nobody told it on you, nigga. You told it on yourself. Fuck you talking about? My son just got prosecuted on nothing but what he said on the internet. Nothing but what he said on his video. They didn't need a motherfucking nobody to witness nothing. Shit, nigga. Nigga, just pray. There it is. Ain't that you? Wait, right there. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. The, 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 oh, yeah, the, 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 he just said thug. thug. You know what I'm He just said his name. They, he, we don't need you to tell nigga you told it on you. These niggas crazy. These niggas act like they really crazy. These niggas so crazy. They be, they'll shoot a nigga, stand by the nigga, be like, who shoot? Who shoot? Crazy. Now that's crazy. Shoot a nigga, bam, 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 bam. Then go wrap up in there. They shoot. They shoot. That's crazy. You understand me? But that's what these niggas doing. They, they playing crazy, but the state <laughs> shit. Ain't nobody got to tell it. Oh, oh we, nigga, y'all, y'all do it all the time. You know, shit, nigga, your hands so big, full of money, you can't even open the motherfucker wide. You, you got to hold a motherfucker like this now and put it up to your ears. <laughs> Ain't none of them accounted for. No taxes on it, no nothing. We ain't get, you ain't got nothing. How you, how you, yeah, they watch all that. And I'm poor pocket person. She talking about. All I got is wisdom and knowledge for you. You can't take that from me. Huh. It's a million dollars worth of that in there and some. Understand me? But, uh, ain't nobody telling it on these rappers, man. Uh, Urban, I believe these niggas telling it on they self. Huh. But like you say, nigga, um, you catch five of them, somebody gonna tell it, nigga. Got me fucked up. They come get the whole crew, take the whole crew down. Now niggas gonna be, watch this, the cold thing. Niggas that think telling it ain't the niggas that's telling it. When it come out, who told it? Niggas be like, damn. That's who told it? Yeah, sitting right there the whole time. It was, oh, man. You know, I didn't even think him. I didn't even think about him. Yeah. Um, Tales from a Crip, nigga. I had a homeboy, man. He got a life sentence. My best friend. My very, very best friend in West Texas, man. They found a half a million, a million and a half dollars in his backyard. Nigga took everything from him. Um, we was hustling. Now, I burnt out before he got popped. Uh, I left that little city alone because I already knew it was hot. You know, same place with Twisted Black got his fed time in. You know, when they came for my partner, my partner had an uncle. And his uncle used to tell us all the time, man, don't fuck with these niggas. And, every, and we, his uncle was old enough, and he was distributing. He was, he, he was a hustler himself. We knew he was out there. We would always follow his lead. Because he always had more than everybody. If we could have more, we keep up with Unc. You know, Unc used to tell us all the time, don't fuck with these niggas, man. We should listen to it. Don't fuck with them. Well, when it came time for court, I tell everybody, I ain't never believed in magic. Until I see my dog get on the stand and turn into a snake. That was magic. It was fucked up when they brung, opened that door and they bring the man in there to, to give up all the evidence. And guess who it was? <laughs> Unc, nigga. Unc took the stand. My partner's down there hard, he hit the floor. He said, you ain't gonna believe. He wrote me while I was in prison. And said, and it fucked me up. I got, he said, you ain't gonna believe who took the stand on me. He said, unk, man. He said, unk. Out of every time, unk kept telling us don't fuck with nobody, fuck with nobody. It's come to find out unk was to working with the feds the whole time. And we, unk had us in his pocket. But he didn't have me because I didn't fuck with him. I robbed unk one time and unk cut me out. <laughs> I got down on him. I got, I ain't gonna, I got down on him. And so he wouldn't fuck with me, but he was keep fucking with his nephew. He kept me, now I don't, every time he see me, now I don't fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. He made, you know, he made, he thought that made me feel bad because he didn't fuck with me. But I thank God he didn't fuck with me. 
when it came to the story in the end because he was working with the folks the whole time. I was just a nobody trying to tell somebody about somebody that can save somebody. But anyway, um, ain't none of these niggas gonna hold their motherfucking water. I tell a nigga all the time, it's not a nigga in the world that can hold water. You find me one, <laughs> shit, let me know. Cause I ain't met one yet. So why you niggas thinking everybody, oh, he gonna hold his water, he ain't gonna say nothing. Nigga can hold water. He gonna, can you he, he boy hold water? Oh yeah, he good. Shit. Let me see him pour it in his hand. Let me see him put all them paperwork. Let me see him put all them pictures in front of him and all these pictures and phone taps in front of him. And let me see how much water he can goddamn me hold. That nigga gonna be in there dropping ice on you niggas. <laughs> and he gonna make a whole CD in that motherfucker on you niggas. Then he gonna come out with a Master P Platinum on you niggas. And ain't nobody gonna know who it is until he hit that goddamn stand. But ain't nobody. Uh. I don't even bring this man's name up, but Charleston White, he don't never snitch. He do what everybody do. He just tell it. Shit. <laughs> hmm. who, who snitching? That that was nigga was snitching in 2000 in the 1900s. Um, when American Gangster came out, they showed nigga this is how the game been going. And we just gonna hip y'all to what we've been doing and how it been going. How we get one nigga to tell it on this nigga, get this nigga to tell it on this. God damn, y'all just not catching on. Oh, y'all just now catching on. Well, it's too late now. Ask them niggas. They just now catching on. And they think somebody told it on them. So they will actually uh, deny hmm. Bond again. <laughs> wow. And uh, Say trial what? starts in January. So, I mean, <clears throat> like you said, that shocking moment. And I, I think that people got to really understand that that Thug would probably never think that anybody he is around would drop a name or give up any type of information that they allegedly have right. or anything. But 28 arrested. Come on, man. <laughs> and, and indicted on this uh, RICO oh, charge. Man, it's, state, it. it's state, not federal, but, you know, yeah. like you saying, uh, you be shocked. <laughs> well, you said, Jones, if you be shocked. 28 arrested? Yeah. And you think all of them standing still? But when you ain't been through this before, but see, you been down this road. Right, 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 right. So in your words, you you basically saying like, hey, your thug is shot probably, but he shouldn't be. Nah, he shouldn't be. He, what but, he is, I don't even think he's shot. Yeah. You know what I think he is? I think he nervous as a motherfucker now. Cause all it takes for somebody to say somebody saying something. Shh, nigga, I ain't. Yeah, yeah, you right. Shock is a big word. Yeah. But nervous, cause it depends on who's saying something and who's saying what. Yeah. And you got 28 niggas to decide for. It could be am or you can't ex you can't exclude none of them. Yeah. That's the cold thing. So nigga, you and yourself. Nigga, we see that nigga, he gonna be one of them things gonna be to fell out of his motherfucking head. Nervous. I watch a whole bunch of niggas go to prison with their hair. Said, shit. Then niggas come home, they shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fine as wine. <laughs> Fine. God damn, that, that, ain't, that, ain't that shaking girl, Gerald? Nah. He got down there with the stress and when they hit him with that time. Now look at him. Shit. Now me, I ain't do no stress. And I got me a shout out to eight town finders, man. Politician style, nigga, but um, that's what I think it is, man. Man nervous. It's gonna it's gonna eat him up on the inside to find out. There's somebody on the inside <laughs> getting down on the inside <laughs> for the inside. <laughs> yeah, sure, man, get real in the, in the now, field, man. They don't know what that time is you know, when them say, man, when them people come in there and get to talking uh, football numbers. Uh, you know, that's that's the game off the rip, and I don't give a fuck how many times they pull out that same chessboard and sit that same chessboard. The pieces set up the same, y'all. Uh, you got to make them same moves. You can't make one piece make a different move. You got to make all pieces got different moves. I wish everybody the best in their situation, man. Uh, innocent until proven guilty, like I always say, but this is the game of life, man. Uh, we'll see how all the facts come out, bro. This is this tough, you know, rap, hip-hop culture, heavily watched, everybody paying attention. Hmm. And if you're putting it in music, uh, if you got anything going on, any affiliations, it could just be somebody around you, right. you might go down through there.